<laughs> We've got the barefoot mechanic back into the house. <laughs> and, and he's barefoot today. <laughs> and he's barefoot today. Um, we're going to take apart the front suspension on the Beetle. Pull it all to pieces. Yep. Because I want to cut it here and build the justice. So before we can do that, we need to pull out the torsion bars and all the rest of it, or torsion springs, what do you call them? Yes. So our man here torsion is going bar. to take the whole thing apart. <laughs> <laughs> it's all yours, my brother. All right, cool. <laughs> Let's get started. <laughs> yeah. Now maybe I should mention in the previous video, I took the front suspension off. A per pan that Wayne is conveniently sitting on here. Yeah? <laughs> I don't think it's a very comfortable seat, man. Like it was, if I said. Yeah, in yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there you have it. You didn't mention that the, you, you're doing this to adjust the ride height. Yes, yeah. yes, of course. We're going to install the adjuster so that we can adjust the ride height. Yeah, yes. yeah, of course. Yeah. So yeah. Fully adjustable because we want to get the look and the stance right on the little Reno bug. Exactly. So by building these adjusters, I know you can buy them. Um, but yeah, buying things here in South Africa is not always that easy. And I want to build them. It'll be interesting. So we're going to build them from scratch. Yeah. That should be fun. Forest engineering. Forest engineering <laughs> at its best. <laughs> So this bolt here on this top upper shock mount is just not budging so we're going to give it some uh, heat with the old flame axe here some, some gentle heat persuasion yeah that'll wake it up <laughs> i mean this stick always works if you heat them up they just budge eh? yeah because it felt like it was going to break yeah no it was going to break that's mm. right so obviously yeah. corroded from him years. I don't know, I can't remember when. <laughs> Imagine when last these shocks were changed. <laughs> I suppose we're going to have to put new shocks there. No, definitely. Okay, it's going. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, no, it's good. Yeah, no, it's good. There we go. Yeah, okay. It always works. Oof. We might have some, right. some cooking rubber there, but who cares? <laughs> <laughs> well, like we decided, I probably need new shock absorbers, eh? Well, whether it needs new ones or not, it's getting new ones. Okay. Alright, there we go. Voila! ta -da. <laughs> Well done, sir. Well done to you. Yeah. Well, let's seeing as with uh, backing in the pot, we might as well rip off the drums too and see what we get inside there. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Yeah, <laughs> probably surprise, surprise. Yeah. Should come off now. Okay. Well, that was relatively easy. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, no, they are worn. Yeah, could have been worse, yeah. though. Yeah. Oh, we need, we'll put new shoes, we'll put new wheel cylinders. What does the drum look like inside? Oh, actually quite good, eh? Not too bad, eh? No. No, we'll put new we'll put new seals, new everything. Mm, mm. Okay, let's see what we get on this side. Ah, I think maybe the brakes would need adjusting. Is it coming? Do, they do need adjusting. No, it's not. Uh, it's tight. No, it's tight. It's hooking. Okay, have you got a flashlight so we can see inside there? Yeah, let me go find one. All right. Okay, so we got those brake shoes adjusted. Whip it off, the big reveal. Let's see what potential problems lies ahead. Okay, Still now, not coming. Now it's the bearing. So now what we do ah. is we go like that. A little bit of levering is in order now. Oh, we're gonna have to. There we go. Still okay. a little tight on the shoes, eh? What is coming? You think? Looks like it, yeah. There we go. Oh, sorry. Well, no nasty surprises. No. Hmm. This side's actually in good condition, eh? It's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. But still, I mean, we'll just replace everything. Yeah, well, shoes anyway, definitely. No, if right. anything, you know, I'd like my brakes to be good. I always redo the brakes completely. No, oh, okay, no, it's good. And it's, it's, it's the wifey's cabby, eh? I mean, <laughs> we want the wifey to stop. <laughs> I swerve for a butterfly and hit a tree. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got the link pin 
bolts undone. Yeah. And now we're just going to tap it out. There we go. All right. Okay, it's going quite easily, eh? Yeah. Just remember now not to mix the shims up, eh? Yeah, yeah. Make sure you keep it shimmed as it is. Because these were good. Voila! Alright. One by. One down, one to go. What do you call this thing? Spindle. One spindle removed. Okay. What do you spindle. call this thing? Hub. Hub? No, man. A hub is a round thing. That's. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this thing. The, the spindle. ring. King, King and Lincoln assembly spindle or whatever thing. <laughs> Brake backing plate, blah blah blah. Alright, so we do the other side. Yeah. Okay, let's get its partner off here on the right hand side. <laughs> We know it's the right hand side because of the steering box. Well, that depends. I mean, in the States, steering box is on the left hand side. Oh. It's well, all relative true. to reference, my brother. <laughs> is it moving? Yeah, very slowly though. But I'm not so good with. Because I'm left-handed, you see. I think you left-handed too, eh? I know. <laughs> Two left hands. Yeah. Two left hands. Ooh, Two left hands is maybe not the best. Okay, let's see. <laughs> no. It's not going to work. No, it's tough. If we don't flare it over, eh? Oh, that's true. Maybe we need to turn this thing around. Come on, Wayne, don't be a wussy. <laughs> Move the freaking thing. Look, you can't get in there. Hang on. I see your problem. It's coming. Yeah, I know, it is a bit tight, eh? Lack, lack of swinging space. <laughs> oh. Are you tired now? <sighs> this one's shorter. By that little bit. Now that would make a big difference. That's not as solid. I don't know. Let's see. Thank goodness I've been working on my ambidextrous skills, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no, there's only one way in this situation. A big P, my man, the big P. Persistence. <laughs>
Okay. Now that thing should be able to pull straight off. Should. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Ta-da. Goodness me. Keep pulling. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. What's that? See oh. now these are this is a stack of springs. Yes. And we're gonna pull them out just now, then you'll see. Then they basically work on a torsion principle. Oh. So it locates in there, you see? Ah. Oh. Yes. Ah. My mach is. Yeah, well, okay. the barefoot mechanic just learned something. Yeah, I've never stripped his front suspension of a beetle this far. <laughs> ah. Ah. Never too old to learn, eh? Yep. Oh, lacquer. You see now it's catching uh, on that rubber. On the rubber. So if I pull here, maybe, I don't know if this is going to work. Uh, okay, wait. Alright, yeah. You hammer that off without hitting my arm. Mm, that's what worries me. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Wait, I've got a better idea. Not that I've got shoes on or anything, but... But you never have shoes on. <laughs> Fucking hell, now okay. i got to operate within the confines of this stinking toe. <laughs> oh! No, I don't like this plan. I'm going to fuck up your toe. Excuse my language. Over. Excuse my language. <laughs> At least now if you hit your toe, it's your problem and not yeah. my fault. Uh, I know. I know. I know. <laughs> oh dear. There we, we go. go. There we go. Right. Phew. <laughs> I will never be the same again. I'm scarred for life. <laughs> okay, okay, so you see if it'll move? It's still looking. Okay. Wow. Still hooking, eh? Okay, uh, I got another plan. I'm gonna. No, that's not gonna. It. That's not gonna work. Yeah. Yeah, but if you leave it, you put tension on it, and then you can't pull it out. Oh, true. Okay, what plan have you got? I don't know. I need my thinking chair. <laughs> <laughs> Should we put the kettle on? <laughs> it's gonna be hot today, eh? Yeah, no. I don't. See, I don't know how far we're gonna get today. I mean, it's already pretty hot. That just means it's going to cost me more in beer. Yeah. <laughs> um, let me see if I can remember. What did we used to do? Just whack it here with a hammer. Can you get in? Yeah. Oh, it's going. Yeah. Just catching on that stop there a little bit. So it's got a bit of pretension right there. Yeah. It's going to slip past right now. Okay. Yeah. There we go. So, right. Okay, what we're going to do anyway is we're going to cut these. Oh, right. You have to, eh? Because of the right height. Because, no, because I'm going to lower it. Yeah, yes. I'm going to cut them and I might turn them and re-weld them. Maybe. Or I might just leave them off. <laughs> Okay, we know that this is the bottom because of that. Yes, correct. All right, so we do know, hey? Yes. Okay. So yeah, let's pull it out. All right. Cool. There right, we go. We, we go. can't confuse the, the top and the bottom. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is. All right. Right, other side. Yep. Oh. Okay, so we got the bolts out. Bottom one. Okay. And we've got the rubber off this time. We're a little bit more clever now. <laughs> and the top one. Alright. Okay, so now we're going to take the spring pack out. Or torsion bar pack. The torsion bar, yeah. Oh, the pack. Yeah, you'll see. Ah, oh, see, it's got plates. It's yeah. Little stacks of springs. Look, the one is even split into two. No, Alright, so what does this pull out? You know, when I was much younger, I used to mess around with this a lot. And what we would do is we'd pull it out and we'd cut one spring. Mm. On, you got to keep the pack in the middle to keep it clamped through the house. You'll see shortly there's a square hole there. Right. And then we'd cut it on either side of that uh, center part. 
Yeah. So that there's still a full square there, but then one spring is missing on each side. Oh. So you make basically making it softer. Yes. I don't know if it's always recommendable, but we messed around with it like that back in the day. <laughs> Why did you want to make it softer? For a um, so that it could ride a little bit lower. <laughs> Hectic, okay. Because there's less spring, you know what I'm saying? Yes, so yeah. it would sit lower. I don't think it's the right way to do it though. Eh? No. I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> Your adjustable suspension. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to take these center ones out. Okay. And that's what holds that whole torsion the, bar the pack. spring pack in place. All right, all right, cool. Okay, well, that's pretty easy then, I think, eh? And then once this is out, we can pull out the whole pack. Okay. Alright, that's loose. Loosen this one. It's not a conk, eh? No, it's alright, we'll get past it. There goes the gunk. There goes the gunk. <laughs> even in a hole there with all the gunk. I think we'll just clean it out quickly. If that's possible. Yes, there it goes. Okay. Luckily we had the right size screwdriver for the job. <laughs> On hand. <laughs> that rarely happens. Flipping splinter of metal in my hand. There we go. Let's take it out. Okay. Right. So there are actually six of these little locators. Are they all the same? Yeah. They look to be the same. Yeah. Right? Probably a 58 model. No oh, man. These screws still work, eh? No, this is sort of, I, I guess it's Beetle 71 if you look at the daylights. Somewhere 71. in the I think well somewhere 70s. Is it? Okay. Early 70s. Alright. No, 58. That's rare now, eh? Yeah, oh, well we had a 58. Right, so it's out. Yep. So you see Wayne, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut you'll see later when I cut this out. Inside here there's like a square there's a block of metal with a square hole in it. Right. And that spring pack or torsion bar pack goes through that square hole. Yes. And that keeps it in place. Correct, yes. So now if we cut this out yeah. and we make this that it can be moved. Right. We can adjust the right height of the, the right car. Does that yes. make sense to you? So you make that square block adjustable. Correct. And then you can adjust the right height. Now you can that. adjust it. You can put this position where you want. Mm. Mm. So that's the plan. That's what we're going to do. We're going to cut okay. only one at a time to keep the thing together. We'll cut this out. Then we're going to do some modifications and fabrication. You'll see what we're going to do. Yeah. And then we'll weld it back into place. And then we'll do the same on that side. But okay. now we can pull out these packs. It's going to cool. be a messy business. So we just need to find a place to put them. Well, I'll use your messy lap. Your messy rag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you should be able to pull that out now. Which one are you going to do? Top one first. There we go. Whee! Now keep it together, eh? Okay. Otherwise it's going to fall apart. Okay. There we go. Right. I put some blocks here on the floor because it's a greasy mess. Oh, no, it definitely is. Okay. Next one. Uh, Bottom one. This is keeping them together, mostly. Hey now, that's broken, hey? Is it broken? It's cut. We'll have a look at it all now. Yeah, yeah, look there. There. We're not so focusing. That's oh, that's interesting. One of them is broken. Mm. We'll have a look at it now when we clean it up a little bit. Oh, okay, there they are, and look, we've got one broken one. Mm. One of the sort of split ones is broken. How about that, eh? 
Mm. Interesting. We'll decide what we're going to do about that. Maybe that was that rough dirt road we drove home on. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wouldn't have been that. I really don't think so. <laughs> You know what, Wayne? I've what? decided we're two freaking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what the hell? I mean, how long have we been at this now? Uh, this was about an hour and a half. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. I mean, but at least it's nice and clean. Oh, I think I was worth hey? it. Yeah. Now can we work on it properly? You might have to touch it up a bit here and there, and then we can, once all this welding is done, we can paint it all nice and it'll look oh, yes. fancy. Snazzy. <laughs> <laughs> but I've also decided, you know what? I think we should call it a day. Oh. It's freaking hot here today. I mean, no, man. put on a jersey, you're going to catch oh, it. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, what is it? 36C? 36 Celsius. Plus humidity, oh. I, I reckon in high 80s. Yeah, easy. I can see you all sweaty, and I'm dripping below my t shirt. <laughs> and yeah, you know, we have up here is a freaking. It's sticking to me, oh. <laughs> yeah. We've got a freaking tin roof here with no insulation, so yeah. Oh, good. Um, so yeah, should we call it a day? I think so. <laughs> no, that's a good idea. We'll try again later. Yeah. Thanks, my brother. Quite. <laughs> Pleasure. Makes you happy, <laughs> it just depends on oh, well. you. So think a little bigger and dream.